Hey guys, Dangle Nerd here. Um, this video is kind of piggybacking off of the one I just posted yesterday. Um, it was my um, uh, summer EDC, and, um, going back to work in my work clothes. Um, this video, I'm gonna talk about my, well, my bug out slash work bag. Uh, this is the Swiss gear. I'm not sure exactly what model it is. It's it's the one that is supposed to be TSA compliant, so you can um, kind of expose your your laptop without having to take everything out. But I got this a couple of years ago when I was uh, preparing to go for a six month deployment to uh, Qatar. Um, I thought I'd, you know, need to carry my laptop, my government laptop, all, all the essentials that I might need. And then just in case, you know, bombs start flying overhead or something and we had to bug out. So I wanted something that I could just kind of uh, conveniently carry on my person at all times. Um, full disclosure, I never did get to go to Qatar. Uh, <laughs> that Air Force doctor wouldn't uh, give me approval because of my history with uh, with cancer and uh, my lifetime immunosuppressant meds, so he wouldn't give me the go go ahead for that. Um, among my colleagues, he's known as Doctor No because he's he's notorious for denying medical approval. Okay. Um go through the compartments of my Swiss gear bag. Um, so yeah, this is other, other zippers. Yeah, I just co coated it with a plastic, plastic dip. So it was a can of red that I, I used it for my car for some kind of um, cosmetic uh, enhancements <laughs> inside the car. It's holding up pretty well in the car, you know, it's just like on the steering wheel emblem and then some highlights across the uh, the passenger side dash. But um, for the zippers, they're not really holding up that well. As you can see, they're peeling, pretty much peeling everywhere. But I thought, it, you know, I was trying to, you know, put the rubber coating on it to keep them from kind of, you know, jingle, jangle, <laughs> uh, making all kinds of noise. Um, but I guess I'll have to come up with another, another way to keep them from kind of jingling around. Um, I like to keep my zippers at the top. You know, some people just keep it at one end and they can just take one zipper and open it up. But I like to keep it up here. Um, I'll explain later, um, toward the end when I'm in my car. But, um, so yeah, this is the outside compartments. And this first one is what I like to call my admin, admin pocket. And inside is basically, it's just full of useless, you know, <laughs> I don't know, just, how useful is it? I don't know. I, I always have a uh, thing of gum. This is xylitol. It's kind of a, a sugar-free gum. And um, I like it. I, I think it's a Korean. This is from a Korean company, but I always have to have gum in my mouth um, because one of the side effects for my uh, bone marrow transplant is that um, uh, my mouth, uh, I have extremely dry mouth and then having gum in there um, just to keep, you know, keep my mouth moist. Um, down here I got a pack of freedom cards. These are just cards, you know, playing cards. I think they're supposed to be from the army or something like that. So it has like military, you know, things like that, tips on how to, <laughs> how to do things. I don't know. I don't even know where I got these from, but um, somewhere at work probably. So I just keep those in there. A um, bunch of tissue paper. Uh, so this is nice, you know, it's compartmentalized and 
I got scissors pens, a white out. This is a, a lighter. Um, I made this sheath out of the plastic packaging and I covered it with duct tape. So this was before I got into Kydex, making holsters out of Kydex. So maybe I'll have to make another lighter sheath out of Kydex. Uh, here's my Olite uh, S2R baton. So this is what I usually carry in my cargo pants in the in the pocket. But um, yesterday, going through my, I guess dress, you call it a dress rehearsal, with my work clothes, um, I don't think I'm gonna carry this in my in my, you know, sport coat or blazer. I don't think I need to carry it for work, but. Um, I think a good compromise is to keep it in the bag, maybe, in case I, you know, it, it'll be there if I need it. Uh, this is a, let's see, this it, this bag has a nice little uh, key um, lanyard, and it it detaches. And I have this is my Swiss Army knife, and I've had this probably since I was 12 years old. Um, it was a gift from my grandfather. And, you know, as a boy, I, you know, pretty much abused it and it survived. It's got, you know, a bunch of tools on there, knives and scissors and saws. But, um, yeah, it's just, I've just had this forever. And then the corkscrew is all bent up. Uh, that was my eldest sister. She, when I was, uh, in the hospital in California, um, my sister flew out to help my wife, you know, pack up our stuff and things like that while I was in the hospital. And they ended up drinking, I guess, and my sister bent up the corkscrew. How do you do that? Opening a bottle of wine. Crazy. Anyway, so um, it's just, it has a quick quick release clip there. Keep that in there. Um, my cat card, my ID cards, ID card holders, uh, more holders. This is uh, just uh, one of those old um, I, it's like a plastic card that, you know, like the promotional things or the junk mail that you get. I just use that and wrap a bunch of duct tape around it just for emergencies. Uh, leather pencil case, pencils. So yeah, this is pretty much all my admin stuff goes in there. Oh, it's got the cards. Freedom cards. Um, so yeah, and I like to keep it right there. And then it's got some nice little um, webbing that you can lash things to. Um, on the side over here, I got... Uh, this is the pepper spray. Um, I, I bought like a six pack of these. I initially got it for my wife. Um, being a flight attendant and all, and I didn't feel comfortable with her, you know, being in, like, going through the parking lot, employee lots at the airport and stuff, like, you know, sometimes really early in the morning or really late. Um, so I got, like, a six-pack of these, and they come in these nice little kind of sheets, and you can repurpose them. I use a couple for a couple of different things, but, um, yeah, it turns out that she can't even go, you know, as a flight attendant, she can't even go through TSA with this. So we keep one in her, in her car, one in my car. I got, and then just, I figure out I have it, I'll just keep it latched, lashed here and then tucked away in there. And I keep it on this side because this is, you know, most easily accessible for me. Even when I wear it on my back, I can just reach back and grab it. Uh, this side pocket, it's, it's a pretty nice pocket. It's just long. But it pretty much goes all the way to the bottom. And it's got like a half zip. And this is my emergency food section. I got some protein bars. Um, well, actually, inside here, I have it organized <laughs> in a Pringles. This, these are the little grab-and-go size. Um, my wife gets them from the airplane. She's always bringing stuff home. <laughs> and I got some... Uh, Plastic forks, spoons, uh, napkins, salt, pepper, more, more bars. 
a chop, pair of chopsticks. I said a chopsticks, I don't know. Um, and that just, I like this container because it kind of helps organize it and it helps um, keep, you know, keep its form or keep its shape in, in the pocket. So. But yeah, emergency food, easy grab and go. Um, the other side pocket, got no, nothing here. Um, this is my first aid pouch. Uh, this is a, I got some more, this airplane stuff. Um, toothbrush, toothpaste, and two, two of that. A bag of masks. Uh, let's see, I got another. This one is also has a Pringles pouch. This one has a uh, oh, dental kit from the airplane again. Uh, sunblock, 45 SPF. Uh, more sunblock. So uh, yeah, I was preparing to go to go to the Middle East, you know, in the Arabian desert. Hand sanitizer. So I, I wanted. To, I figured I needed some sunblock, and I would keep that in there, but. This is just, you know, just first aid stuff. Nothing too serious, but, um. And then over in the front, we have this little carabiner. Maybe convenient to lash something on. Um, this pocket, I, I have my cob. This is for my cob. Uh, I don't know, there's a tuning, there's an access port tuning thing for my car. So I figured red, you know, good accent. So I just stuck it on there. Easy grab. This front pocket is kind of, um, on my, I guess I, I would call it the power or recharging station. I don't know. I got uh, sunglasses here. These are the Wiley X. Comes in a nice, I'm not sure what model it is, but I got this for the, <laughs> going to the desert again. Because I have some eye problems, like I mentioned before, because of the transplant, and I have special lenses. So I figured in the desert, I would probably need these. And what makes these special is they have these gaskets. It's a foam gasket that kind of seals off um, the space. So I figured if there's a sandstorm or something, <laughs> it would protect my eyes. It's like, a, it's like wearing goggles, basically. But um, I like them. I sometimes wear them in, in my car. I did uh, during the winter time when it was cool, and I would just leave the window open while I was driving. Um, and this Wiley X, it's, it's like a ballistic type glass, so it'd be good for you know range, range work or things like that. But yeah, there you go. Um, so like, like I said, this is the power or recharge station. So I got my Olight charging. I got like two of all of these, so one set stays next to my bedside. This one is just for when I travel. So one special is for, for my weapon light, and then this is for the old light. And I just keep that in there. And then this is my little little power brick. Um, it's pretty nice, comes in a you know really small size. I can charge my phone and my iPad uh, fully on on one on one charge so that's pretty good um, what else charger uh, earbuds uh, some USB sticks yeah that's that's pretty much it so I just kind of know where everything is and everything has its place uh, everything can kind of get smashed in there okay um so yeah that, those are the outside pockets pretty nice um it's got this really really substantial uh, grab handle which is great because the bag gets heavy and the back Nothing unusual in the bag. It's got nice foam padding. Um, the straps are pretty well padded. They're, they're not overly thick. Uh, 
Got a little loop for sunglasses. And these are, I'm not sure what these are actually. Just maybe something to loop, lash things onto. It's supposed to be help, you know, flow, airflow. Okay, um, so yeah, those are the outside pockets. Inside, I have these loops. Uh, let me get this out of the way here. Um, so the uh, you have this inside pocket here. Um, this one basically, I just keep things that you know I want to. You know they're handy. Looks like it's lip balms, bunch of lip balm, sanitizing wipes. Uh, what is that thing back there? It looks like deodorant. I think it's sunscreen. Yeah, more sunscreen, SPF 50. Kind of you can rub on to some part. Uh, yeah, some towelettes. Uh, here's a pill. Pill container and it should have Advil in it. Yeah, got some Advil. Um, that's about it. Uh, here's more lip balm. Down here, different size. So once again, I was planning, you know, this for a desert environment. Um, at the bottom of this, this is the main compartment. Um, let me adjust this a little. So I got um. This is uh one of those amenity packs from the airplane. <laughs> I got a ton of these. My wife keep you know keeps bringing these home, and I just use it to as a pouch. This is just some. Um, uh, first aid things. I got some gauze. I got this uh, CPR. Uh, we had to take CPR training for at work, and this just has uh, some some gloves in there. Um, it looks like it has a kind of like a, a a cover, mouse cover. Some sanitizer, band aids of various sizes, sanitizer, gloves, more gloves. Um, this is just an old pillbox. I keep this in here. This is a, a liquid Band-Aid. It's, it's pretty useful. I've used it. Oh, everything's just falling down on me. Okay. Um, quite frequently, and I've had, you know, other colleagues or friends ask, you know, they had some boo-boo, and that came in handy. Um, on this little pillbox, I have... Some toothpicks. This is a uh, some type of cream. It's a uh, I think it's clobetasol. Yeah, it's a clobetasol. It's a uh, kind of like a steroidal cream. Um, sometimes I get like rashes or something. And then I think this one is uh, I forgot the name of it, but it's for like cold sores and things like that. So um, yeah, because of my um, kind of weakened immune system I get I get sick quite easily and then um at the first sign of like a like a cold sore I, I throw this on and I can't even get it out of there right now but uh, yeah I just keep that in there and I got a <laughs> this was from the uh, when I went to the eye doctor and these are the temporary uh shade you know for your eyes but I thought eh, that's cool roll them up throw it in here and yep that's it gauze so keep it in these little handy pouches and then this pouch is um this is for my uh special lenses i have these are some antibacterial wipes so they're called pros lens i don't know what the acronym means but it's like like a prosthetic uh Something, something sterile environment. So it's like special lenses and they cost like $8,000 for a set. I don't know, my insurance paid for it, so I don't... But anyway, this, I keep uh, my old set in here in case something happens. And these just Q-tips, um, the cleaning, cleaning things, and the, the little plungers that you use to put it on and take them off. So, yeah. So I can't, yeah, I can't survive without these these lenses. So I don't know. That kind of limits my 
bug out abilities. And then the um, rest of this is just kind of, they're divided compartments if you had files or folders. But I just, I have a pair of, a set of uh, masks. These are from Korea. Like N95 masks or something. I got a notebook in here. And then I have this one. This is kind of like the, it's supposed to be for your phone or MP3 player, I think, but I just have a small notebook I bought. I thought it would be good to have, you know, write down names and addresses or anything that you might need, <clears throat> you know, traveling to a foreign country. But I, n I never got to go. And so that just resides right there. So yeah, that's the main compartment. And then when I do, tra like, only time I travel down to San Antonio from, from Dallas, I, I have another pouch with my lens cleaning things in here. And then sometimes I'll roll up, you know, an extra t-shirt or, you know, boxers or something if I stay the night. So yeah, that's the middle compartment. And then, let's see, we have this part in the middle. And... This is basically the whole scan smart part of the the bag. It's supposed to when you go through TSA, you can just open it up and they can access all your computer stuff without dumping everything out. But um, I keep uh, th this is just <laughs> another airplane amenity pack, um, and then in here I just keep all the peripherals. I have the I might this is my card reader, uh, I have a mouse in here, this is a stylus, uh, USB, extra USB port things, so I just keep all that in here. Uh, and then here, this little pouch is for like, um, like a tablet or something, but I just keep, um, this is the DVD, you, you know, the external DVD player that goes with my Dell uh, laptop. It's like the two-in-one laptop. And then that goes in here. And this pocket zips down kind of just, uh, just halfway here so you can access it. And then I have my laptop in this little pile. Just, just a hand me down from my wife um she she got a macbook or something and she's got a nice case for her so she gave me her old one i don't know it's got some sharps on it but yeah this is just uh, my laptop and the power cable and i just keep it in this in this you know bag or carrier just for extra protection because I figure everything's going to get smashed in there and it just zips right up like that and see if it'll stay up there okay so yeah that's Basically, uh, everything. This is Swiss Gear um, Scan Safe backpack. Um, it's been. A, it, I've been using it for two years. Uh, well, before the pandemic, um, for about a year, and then I haven't really used it that much since. But it's a great bag. Um, I think it was like uh, maybe seventy dollars. When I got it, it might have been sixty-five, seventy dollars. So it was, it was a great price for a very durable, um, very functional bag. Um, yeah. So, oh, that guitar in the corner back there. Uh, that's a. Uh, I think it's called the overhead guitar. It's a travel guitar. So I bought that also for my uh, for my cutter um, deployment that never happened. But uh, yeah, the the neck separates from the body. So you, yeah, that's you know what I typically do. I you know over prepare and <laughs> go overboard. Oh, and here I'm. I've been kind of going through like going through inventory, you know, like going through my work clothes and all that. So I figured it's a good time to wash some of these bands. 
this is kind of my everyday band. It's, it goes to a, a just a Timex watch that I usually wear every day. Um, but the battery died, so yeah, I need to get new batteries for that. I figured it's a, you know, this this band was kind of funky, so I decided to wash it. And then this is my current one that I'm in, I've, I've been using and during the pandemic actually. But yeah, might as well give this a good scrub too. So this is the way the bag looks. It's pretty heavy, but uh, it's pretty comfortable. You could put, you know, lug this around, you know, all day. Wouldn't be a problem. This is how I carry it in my car, just um, right behind my seat. Kind of like how I would carry it on my back. And it makes it easy to reach back and um, access uh, any of my pockets, you know, the admin pocket when I had to get my ID card going through the base. Or uh, more importantly, getting to my emergency food. <laughs> so that's why I keep the zippers in the middle so I can access it from either hand. And that's about it. If you made it this far, uh, thanks for, <laughs> for watching. And you know the drill, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.